Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Gatwick drone paranoia affects thousands of holiday travelers. The Blue Angels 2020 season could see budget cuts. And we take a look at the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Skylar Vanell. Our top story today comes out of the UK's London Gatwick Airport, where details of drone sightings still seem to be very unclear. And now is left officials scratching their heads. It all started on the evening of December 20th, when the runway at London Gatwick's airport was closed due to drone sightings by airport staff members. Police arrested two suspects on the suspicion of disrupting civil aviation, but were later forced to release the two after an investigation found that they did not have enough evidence to hold them. Over 1,000 flights were canceled and more than 140,000 people were displaced. At the peak of holiday air travel, officials were calling this a deliberate disruption of air travel using drones. Now authorities are saying they may not have enough evidence to prove the drone even existed. And the latest drone alert turned out to be a lighted construction crane. Punishment for this type of crime is five years in prison. When we return, civic aviation leaders to showcase viability of alternative jet fuels as we take you around the patch. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. On January 17th, Los Angeles area civic leaders will join business aviation leaders to mark a milestone in the development of sustainable alternative jet fuels. The group will host a day-long series of events to highlight the SAJF initiative and demonstrate the fuel's viability. The event will mark the official launch of sustainable alternative jet fuels in use. The A319neo, powered by CFM International's LEAP 1A engines, has achieved joint type certification from both the FAA and EASA. The A319, 320, and 321 NEO models are now certified by the international authorities to operate with the CFM engine option. The latest achievement comes after an intensive certification flight test program since its first flight in March of last year, and it has racked up over 500 flight hours. Officials are looking for a person that caused a med flight helicopter to abort a transport on Christmas Day. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office responded to a UTV crash in the town of Scott, Wisconsin, where a 17-year-old male suffered injuries from that crash. A med flight was contacted to assist with the transport of the injured teen to an area hospital. But then that flight was aborted when the medevac pilot suffered an eye injury while trying to land at the scene. According to the press release, the pilot's injury was reportedly caused by a laser pointer being aimed at the aircraft while the pilot was using night vision. The sheriff's office said they are still looking for the person who caused this and state law prohibits obstructing emergency and rescue crews. It is a federal crime to point a laser pointer at an aircraft and fines range up to $250,000 and five years in prison. The United Express regional carrier Commute Air is increasing its pilot sign-on bonus to up to $45,000 for captain qualified candidates. The Cleveland-based carrier has immediate upgrade opportunities for qualified new hires. Pilots who meet the 1,000-hour Part 121-135 requirement can take advantage of the sign-on bonus. The airline is looking to hire and promote 200 captains over the next two years. That wraps up today's trip around the patch. The U.S. Navy has sent a document to Congress expressing concerns about the Blue Angels' schedule in the wake of budget cuts for 2020. Navy Secretary Richard Spencer said that a mechanical sequestration of the U.S. defense budget could lead to the cancellation of 21 appearances. The Navy would not comment on what might be cut in the future budget. 
Coming up after the break, Sikorsky and Boeing provide first look at the SB-1 Defiant. The dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Sikorsky and Boeing have released their plans for the SB-1 Defiant helicopter. It was developed for the U.S. Army's Joint Multi-Role Technology Demonstrator Program. Aero News shows you their first look at what this new helo can do. The aircraft is designed to fly at twice the speed and range of today's conventional helicopters, and it offers advanced agility and maneuverability. Data from Defiant will help the Army develop requirements for new utility helicopters expected to enter service in the early 2030s. Developed with 85% commonality between attack and assault aircraft, the SB-1 Defiant will reduce development and life cycle cost, and it will ensure minimal disruption or loss of existing rotorcraft expertise. The aircraft's capabilities are largely derived from the X-2 rigid coaxial rotor system, which has already proven its airworthiness through flights of the X-2 and S-9 Raider. With two coaxial rotors on top that rotate in opposite directions, the extra lift from each rotor's advancing blades balances out the diminished lift from the opposite side's retreating blade and to eliminate retreating blade stall. To provide the raw forward thrust from fast flight, the back of the Defiant mounts a pusher propulsion, allowing the aircraft to fly twice as fast and twice as far as today's conventional helicopters. Well, that wraps up today's show. For more details on the stories you've seen here today, you can go to arrow-news.net. Follow us on social media and leave us a comment below on what you think about the show. From all of us here at Arrow News, thanks for watching and we'll see you back next week.